a Fox News alert, a deadly car crash in Texas along the southern border. So far, seven dead, 11 injured. Griff Jenkins has the latest from Brownsville, Texas. Griff. Hey, Molly, just to update everyone and for our viewers tuning in, there was a fatal car incident uh, and it was happening here just in front of a shelter that largely houses migrants. That's why there's so much concern here. Let me just step out of the way and let you look down the road. Now, we're a few miles from the actual border, but at this busy intersection on the left side of your screen is a building that houses about 100 to 200 migrants. Obviously, it is at capacity right now with the surge of migrants coming to Brownsville that we've been showing you all week long. Now, around 8.30 a.m. this morning, a vehicle drove up on the curb on the other side of the street where there is a bus stop. A lot of migrants were gathered out there. Migrants regularly take the local bus to the main bus station here and then head to the other places in the country where they are going to. And multiple witnesses, some of whom were migrants, told us that there were migrants among the deceased. Seven have been confirmed dead in there are multiple injured. We're waiting to find out from the local Brownsville PD. We spoke just about a half an hour ago to the investigator, Martin Sandoval. He said that they're trying to actively determine exactly what the situation is with the driver. Now, he is in custody. It was one individual, a Hispanic male. They've been drawing his blood, we're told, to determine whether or not he may have been under the influence or in trying to determine why he crashed. But again, just to recap, the vehicle drove up on the curb in front of a bus stop where a group of individuals believed to be migrants were. That is the tragic incident. And there were so many uh, among the victims because apparently the vehicle, a gray Land Rover, we're told from officials, rolled once it went up on that curb and had a pretty wide spray across what was a large group of, my, of uh, individuals believed many of them to possibly be migrants. Very fluid here and just it, it speaks, Molly, to the fact that these border communities have migrants uh, gathering in various parts of the city. In this case, the shelter, which isn't a migrant shelter, it's initially a homeless shelter, but is largely overwhelmed with migrants because of the situation here at the border. And as we hear from the border officials, the numbers are going to go even higher. These are the concerns of local uh, law enforcement uh, agencies when you have something like this. We'll bring you more as we get it just developing here right now. Molly, we'll send it back to you. Yeah, well, heart, absolutely heartbreaking situation there. Griff Jenkins, thank you uh, for bringing us that update. We appreciate it. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.